Here we are in Shilin Night Market, just behind me here. It's the oldest night market in Taiwan, been going for 120 years. We're going to walk around, there's a thousand stalls and 300 shops. Let's go find something good to eat. My name's David, you're watching Travel Eat Taiwan Repeat, and this is Shilin Night Market. So first up, we came to get the uh, black pepper bun. Unfortunately, they're actually sold out. Uh, but the gentleman was really kind and gifted us this sourdough bread. Oh, look at that. Looks like there's walnuts inside. Oh, wow. The bread's quite nice and salty, but the walnuts are almost a little bit sweet. They give the bread a nice texture, crunchy on the outside, nice and fluffy in the middle. It's a good start. So along with all the food choices, there's also loads of game choices as well. Saw this BB one, thought I'd have to give it a go. I thought it was really good. We'll take that. Eight points for the cards. Yes. That's a win. Cheers, Jenny. We found another stool with pork pepper buns, so let's go have a try. Finally got the pork pepper bun. You can see on the bottom how crisp that is from the tandoor oven. Nice big chunks of meat in it. Bit of onion. Oh gosh. That is so juicy. Look at that. Oh. That is piping hot. So, so good. sit down in a stinky tofu restaurant we also got some cold noodles got some ham some cucumber a few other bits in there sesame sauce on the noodles oh. mm -hmm. refreshing because it's so hot outside too we also had to get the stinky tofu as well it's deep fried with some pickled cabbage on top it's a bit of chili sauce Pickle cabbage. So nice. Real stinky. It's a good one. Let me tell you the secret to why all the foreigners don't like it. Don't breathe. When you breathe, all the stench goes in your mouth. You taste the air as well. It makes it work. Just chew. Enjoy it. Hey, come with me. Here you go. Filming some pretty lady. <laughs> I'm sure you've all heard of Popstar Chicken. It's the one to have here and the other one at the front, the barbecue grilled chicken. Uh, but there is one that we prefer more. It comes from a tiny, tiny stool. Um, and it is just, look at that. Look how crispy it is. Oh, yeah. Probably can't hear that, but it's <laughs> crispy. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh yeah. We just got the plain flavor. It's basically one giant chicken breast that's been smashed, covered in some batter, a bit of salt or pepper. Really juicy. And so, so good. Super, super excited, excited about this. 
I hadn't seen this before. It's like um like a pork pepper bun, I guess, but instead of the bread, it is um, rice, like smashed rice, I guess, like glass noodle. Really hot, piping hot. It's definitely gonna burn me. Really nice texture, really soft on the inside. Got a nice crunchy layer on the outside, and I'm really burning my fingers. Really nice, but I should have waited. Far too hot. It is covered in uh, a spicy sauce, a fermented bean sauce, I think. Also some peanut dust and coriander. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. The flavors, the textures. It's so good. It doesn't taste like blood at all. It's just a thick, stodgy rice dish. I love the peanut dust on the outside. The thick of pepper from the coriander. Mmm. And the spicy sauce isn't too hot. It's a nice level of heat. Very good. So the final thing we had to get was also the Shenzhen Bao, which I showed you in one of the previous videos. So you can see the crispy bottom. Oh, the sesame on the, on the outside. Oh, look at that. Lovely fresh bread. Once again, like everything today, it's absolutely piping hot. Huge meatball inside. Look at that. Some chives, some spring onions. Salty, but not too salty. Look at the juicy is. Oh, oh. So juicy. That was shilling night market. We had about seven or eight different things in the end. Uh, absolutely stuffed, so I can't go around showing you any more, unfortunately. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one.